follow the leadership of young people because they are the ones who are continuously challenging and expanding our own thought around what is masculinity. Hey, my name is Josue Arueyes. I am the coordinator of youth initiatives at A Call to Men. And while we do a lot of work on defining what healthy masculinity is and defining what healthy relationships are, really there's a question around, well, who gets to define it? And for us, especially working with young people, it's making sure that we are centering the voices and the experiences of youth who are gender non-conforming, who are trans, who are queer, because they have always been pushing the envelope and really helping us even uh, follow their leadership around how we define what is masculine, what is feminine, how we even define what gender identities exist, right? And how people affirm those gender identities. I think as we do work to engage men and boys, we have to remember that not in all spaces that we're in, all boys are gonna be into sports, right? Or that all boys are gonna like girls. So we have to be really uh, able to come in as students. So that to me is the important question, always like who gets to define masculinity? It's not just boys and men. It's everybody has a stake and how we define that and how we express that.